Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content for groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here. Today we have August D comeback. I'm so happy. I really wanted to go to his tour. Too much has happened though. Simply cannot do that. Um, but I'm looking forward to this. We have a song with Hobie. I avoided People Part 2 specifically so I could react to it in the album reaction. So please thank me for that. <laughs> it's been very hard not to. I'm just kidding. Yeah, thank me. I could have I could have reacted to it, but I just decided to do it all together. I'm skipping the interlude one just because I don't have a lot of time, but I'll be listening to it on my own anyways. Um, I'm just doing the songs. So we have D-Day. Hey, Glenn. I kind of got spoiled with that a little bit, so I know what it's about. Huh? Huh? <laughs> with Hobie. Amy G. Dial. We're getting SD. Oh, like, it's a lot of <laughs> people part two. Polar Night snooze so let's hop into the video i uh looked up usung because i felt like i recognized his name to see if he did the song dear my friend but it wasn't it was a different one and i saw niha on 28 and i was like pause real quick wow this pop N niha from um what's the song 28 28 and it's really weird because i just reacted to kia um his name is jiok and he had a song with Nihua. So sorry for pronouncing everyone's names wrong. It's very hard. <laughs> this this song. This one. That artist. I just did a uh Jiuk, his album. Amazing. If you like this song, because I can I can already hear this, you'll probably like that album. Um it's called because I really think it's just a weird coincidence. This album, Psycho X Bionetics, whatever. It was just a weird coincidence because I've never heard of Nihua, but apparently I have because 28. It was just really weird. Mm. But uh, yeah, I guess I maybe it was songs on a, another artist song that I, I recognize. He did D2, but there was no D1. Is there D1? Does that exist? Or is D Day D1? I was just gonna look up the lyrics myself so we don't give these people views, but honestly, I'm just lazy. It's a bit overwhelming to read it at once. Hmm. This is from like 2012 hip hop era. Like, I don't want to say it, but kind of like Kanye West. That type of stuff. You know, when Kanye West was decent <laughs> as a person, <laughs> it had good music. Okay. I can't remember. Time to get out of By the way, he looks amazing in this picture. Which, oh, tick, tick, and I like this. I like, it reminds me a bit of, um, um, Shadow. Mm. Look at all of I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't say no more. I can't remember. I can't remember. 
Oh, that doesn't again. It sounds like he says I, I thought, Am I hearing you wrong? I thought he said I got some real ass karma What, what do I think he's gonna say? Yeah, he's clearly saying I got some real ass karma. Like, I got that real ass karma that's coming back, like the good karma. And it bothers me that it doesn't, it's not, it's not written. So let me know if I'm crazy, because I was kind of reading that part, and I was like, that's not what I'm hearing. So let me know, is it, is he saying I got some real ass karma? Coming back for me. Like, I got some real ass karma coming back for me. And he's saying, I'm getting the good that I've, like, cause he's put out good energy, so he's getting the karma. Ew, I hate when they do that. But yeah, I think that lyric's wrong. That's a bop. I think it's a bit long and a bit repetitive, but like, like I said, it reminds me of like 2010 to 2000, like, like 2008, 2014 hip hop. And that is like, those songs are usually long and be like pumped up and like, like, Kanye West, like, <laughs> I, I, that's all I can think of right now is, like, Kanye West songs, like, that type of music, um, in a good way, you know, because Kanye used to be a good rapper, <laughs> he's still a good rapper, but you know what I mean, like, he has some good music, and now he's a bit, you know, <laughs> but yeah, it reminded me a bit of that, so I'd, I wish it was shorter, but I also think if I'm not reading it, like, because I'm reading the lyrics over and over, so it feels more repetitive than it probably is, Bob, we love it, um, it just feels like a good intro to the album. I'm looking forward to this because I know there's a cigarette stuff and I've tried every time I saw it I tried to avoid it but you know because I think it's like Yoongi versus all this DR the you know I get it the the prince or whatever why does he look so good like what for I love the colors the warm tones with the like a uh, teal bluish green color so this is bad yungi we don't stand we still stand oh shoot what the f i need the behind the scenes i need the training i need to see you I <laughs> He's like a spider. <laughs> oh, the spider's like world. The, the thing. I didn't. Uh, is that a stun double? Yungi, what the fuck? It literally was really him. I wouldn't be surprised because Yungi's the type to want to do it himself. Like, he didn't have to have a real sword, you know, like that. He, he wants it all to be real. Kind of hope it's a stun double because that's dangerous. But it's Yungi. He's living life to the fullest right now. We watched it one more time. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like him. Oh, now I have to look up where Hagelin is. Why did... I said H. I can't type. It was a string instrument resembling a fiddle. Okay. Okay, well, I leave with them, guess. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I always have to look stuff up for him. Ooh, that shot. I kind of wish it was only one shot. Is this the good Yungi? I don't know. I kind of hate that the good Yungi is portrayed as the one with the suit and stuff, so I kind of hope there's a twist and this is the bad Yungi. Because classism. <laughs> but I think this is about capitalism, so maybe. I don't know if this one is. I don't know if it is. Oh yeah, so he has the scarf. Fuck, no one's... Who had the scarf? The king! I'm the king, I'm the boss. What do you mean we had the scarf? Ugh, I can't remember. Oh, 
있으니 그렇다면 주지 말고 올라타봐 좀 주내 것들로 보기에 해봐 각자의 취향이 있어 미애들은 몽차는 보냉하는 시대를 살아가는 의미를 위한 이 노래는 금지된 것 Freeing with Forbidden. I hope this is the Kuyumi. I don't know. Don't look guilty, don't look guilty. <laughs> I want my ring for him, he might be back on it. Reminds me of a... The HRLH when the girl takes the... Cigarette from his mouth. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, the, the, the flow here, the flow, let's go. And this. Oh, there's a lot of thinking. I might have to like, look this up later or something because. Mm -hmm. Wait, I love that the uh, <laughs> Sorry about the some armies here But a lot of armies Because there's good armies, always good There's half's good, half's good, bad R Hyping the song, like look at him talking about slaves to all this and stuff But they're the ones Playing down other artists because they're like, but your 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 group didn't win this. Your group didn't beat these views. Your, our group has all these records and stuff. Hypocrites, hypocrites! I laugh at that those tweets. Like, look at our boy talking about the real stuff here, and then they're the ones contributing to that stuff by using views to imply their artist is better when BTS aren't better because of views. And it's more of a subjective thing. And BTS were great before they even got those views. So to say BTS are great and use the views and streams and album sales as proof contradicts what BTS stand for. <sighs> Anyways, go off, Yungi. <laughs> God, look at this. He's spathing in money. Remember when he said Post Malone smokes, smells like too many cigarettes or whatever? <laughs> I wonder if he actually smoked here. Okay, he's drowning him in money? I need the band scenes. Oh my god, I hope that was safe and he didn't accidentally hit his head one time when doing that. Oh. Why is he so cute? <laughs> You be holding a gun with like an evil smile on me over really. like he looks adorable there. He did though, he did. Look, look at that smile, he's so happy. It was cute, you can't deny it. I don't know who we're supposed to be rooting for at this moment, but I'm kinda of with gangster Yungi here. Cause I feel like he's probably the good guy, I don't know. <laughs> Cause it's, it's about capitalism stuff and I don't know, so I feel like we're supposed to repair him? I had to look up like uh, ARMY's analysis and stuff cause they're smarter than me and they've watched it more times. I've only watched it once. <laughs> so my perspective is not as easy to understand cause ARMY's probably watched it a million times. Like I would usually if I'm watching it alone. Why did it look like Jimin? I doubt it was. Is this Jimin? Is that Jimin? Is that Jimin? I probably, I, I, I would think it's Jimin just cause it seems like something that would happen. But I, I, I generally can't tell. Oh wait, what's that? Okay. Let me know. It may not be. But I was about to be like, oh, why is the server look cute? I'm like, wait, is that Jimin? 
because he's wearing an earring too. I'm probably imagining it. I'm not quite sure what to think here because he was in a police car but they let him out. So is he in comments with the uh, police? No English comments. Fuck, I hate how sometimes I have to. I wish um, YouTube would put your language that you speak at the top. Like, so if you speak Spanish, if you speak Indonesian, like, they'll put yours at the top. Because I know I live in America. So I wish, or like, whatever language you have it set to. Amazing. Bop. We are only two songs in. My god. Why do you look like Jim in here? Am I the only one who thinks he looks like Jim in here? <laughs> Yungi is really living in this autotune era. This is giving me August D self titled album with all the cursing and stuff. I feel like he's, he's angry again. <laughs> Cause like D2 was a uh, more soft. Besides Dashi of course. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh. The rest I'm like, ah, it's typical, like, screw off. I like that line. That line. The villain in this age is infirmary. Oh, I thought he was saying the villain. I read it wrong, sorry. I thought he was saying the villain in this age is information. And I was like, well, why don't you say false information? The villain is false information. But he's saying millions of news coverage and gossips. The villain in this age of information. So the coverage and gossip. I don't think it's in this age. I feel like that's always been the villain it's like the 90s 80s etc like you know for them like i love how we saw intro here i hope it goes off you can know what I love the passive aggressive softness here. Wait, wait, sir. Excuse me, Hobie. So I bring the issue up. On the street. Hey. Machine overheated. Hey. Okay, okay. I mean, I liked it. It was fine. I, 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 uh... I feel like any type of uh, to the hater song can sway either way because like a cypher 3 and 4 go off hard but I feel like this one was a bit more like vague like, they were, like I don't know I feel like I feel like I would have wanted a different song with Hobie featuring it I don't know I also I feel like they have so many to the hater songs now that they all kind of start repeating the same thing because I mean at this point you're kind of <laughs> giving them what they want which is a whole song dedicated to them 
But then again, they have songs dedicated to ARMY, so balance out. Um, but, you know, like, you know, they, they have so many now. They don't really... We have our go-to ones. We have, like, Mic Drop and the Cyphers and everything. Um, that I'm like, I don't really need another to the hater song. Uh, I don't know. It was fun. It was fun, though. Like, I feel like this would be a fun one live because it has that kind of cypher element to it. Sadly, Hobie would... It may not be in the set list because Hobie's not going to be there. Unless Jimin pops off and they do all the songs. Or JK. Oh, so pretty. I don't know what this means. Do I need to Google this, too? Amy... Winehouse. Amy G. Dalla? I don't... Oh, okay. It's like emotion stuff. Amy G. Dalla. I thought it was like a rap or something. Very sad. If you know what's happened this week, <laughs> the song might make me cry. <laughs> I feel like I should have reacted to this album now that I think about it. Not in the right mindset for this. Oh no. Is this his, uh, the last for his album? And like, uh, Dear My Friend. How is he pronouncing this? Amy Godala? Miami Miami. What the fuck is going on here? He's like, man, can this man just... Truly one of my most inspirational artists ever. I like that this song is pretty dark and well not dark just his life you know but it's it has this like parts that are like a bit upbeat and if you don't read the lyrics you wouldn't probably know like you could hear the emotion but like this like it doesn't feel sad really it just feels a bit heavy because you can kind of hear it in him but the rhythm's not portraying that as much. Favorite. I feel weird calling it a banger, but I agree. None of us did. That's the thing. That's, that's the point. He said, let it all out. He never once mentioned. This could more like a Namjoon energy. Obviously, you know, he's done such types, but it just reminds me a bit more of Namjoon. Especially with that part. I 
yes, I can hear Namjoon's voice on this. Like, I kind of wish Namjoon was featured for this one. I can hear the. I can. I can, I can literally picture him featuring on this. Is this um Dora? <laughs> Is this supposed to be like somebody does love you? Like is that the kind of play on it? Oh, interesting. I just thought about this. Yungi is the only one without a physical album. But he has three albums. Well, mixtape. Two mixtapes in an album, I guess? I don't know. What was the difference? <laughs> That's the car ride song. I can definitely, I, I feel like it's her. She has a very familiar voice. Um, and I could totally, I mean, just cause she's not on her big head anymore. I can, yeah, they, they're probably still in touch. And I, I can guarantee he would be up there like, yo, what's up Adora, you, you wanna? Just hit a few notes here, you can do it. Two seconds, because you're a queen. We stand, Adora. Um, yeah. She sounded, oh, it feels so good. That was, that's probably my, when I would listen to the most, because it's just a vibe. So this is part two from D2. I'm not gonna react to the pilot interview just because there's too much stuff BTS release. I can't watch everything, so I try to pick things that would be most entertaining. I want to get Far Away. I have a design for Far Away I, I want so bad as a tattoo because it's one of my favorite songs in the world. I have Stigma already because Stigma's masterpiece. I wanted it. Right here, so far away. Yeah. I love this warm warmth here. Is this his real house? It's, it's a bit too, too much to set up. The same castle reminds me of the truth when told. That's not. That's not Holly. Why are you doing Holly? Rude. Vocals. Let's get it. That reminds me of the heartbeat music video. Giving the little stitch energy here. Loneliness. Mmm, you're saying that, that's a lot. 
as he's one who often holds back. You see in his lyrics his growth in maturity in his emotions. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. This is beautiful. Who is this dog? That's not Min Holly. <laughs> Why couldn't Min Holly be in a music video? Oh. Oh wait, we're getting explanations. And realized how much he missed people. Okay, sir. Thanks for letting me know. That's beautiful. Favorite one lyrically. Favorite one lyrically. I think most Buddha group. Like, that was just very beautiful lyricism. Oh. Guess you just had a dog in other music. <laughs> No, I don't know, I'm just kind of some guns here, but... Ooh. Ooh. This is what I say! This reminds me of Equal Sign. Hobie. Ooh, reflection on yourself as you judge others. How dare you try to explain yourself? I had to re listen to this one a few times and see different uh, translations. There's always there's gonna be different ones. So I'm like, this is crazy. This is deep. <laughs> I feel like Yuhi often talks about himself, so to hear him... Like, I, I feel like I gotta dig into this one a bit more. Oh, okay. Oof. I gotta... I gotta... Oh, I don't know, I can't talk about that one too much, but, because I need to get all the translations correct, but that one, loved it. I have the gist of it, you know what I mean? I just want to make sure I can get it all. Oh my god, I didn't read the whole thing, the rose. Crazy, the rose have been going through so much that I've been wanting to get back into them. So this is crazy. And Ryochi Sakamoto, don't know who that is, but this is a club I never saw coming. Cause I'm like, I know Wusong, I know like a few Wusongs and K-pop. Didn't think it was those. We'll wait the flowers for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
이런 추억 세상에 미워줄게 널 반기던 손이 손가락 줄로 변했을 때 한숨 크게 쉬고 시발 시간 내 외출도 돼너 또한 누구와 다르지 않을까 Imagine Ozone's face when he saw Yungi DM'd him or whatever. I love this because I just saw his interview with TXT and he said he kept reiterating how much he wanted to be there for them so they didn't have to struggle so much. I was say, that was, that was the dark line, but I'm glad he fixed that. God, I love his voice. Never mind. Oh no, sorry. This is this is a reference to one of his his, his other song. Tomorrow? No, no, it has to be. Never mind. I'm pretty sure. I feel like this is also him talking to other artists. As he keeps reiterating to many artists that come on his show how much he wants to he wants younger artists to, to talk to him. No, oh, what What song is it? Wait, let me there has to be a playlist of sugar solos. Okay, so let's never know. Just the song where he goes like dream. It's not first love, is it? No, it's not first love. Is, is it tomorrow? Is it first? It's not first love. Oh, the most beautiful moment in life, maybe? Let me look it up. Maybe it's far away. He has a song. Is this dream? Come on, say it. And, uh, dream. <laughs> it is. Oh my god. The song has nothing to do with why I'm reacting this way. It was just something about the, um, as. You probably know 
two days ago, an artist that I really like passed away, so I don't know. Like, for some reason, the song just reminded me of that, so. And it, it has nothing really to do with that, it just. <sighs> Anyways, um, it made me think of that. And then, in general, just the song was very emotional, so. Um, anyways, anyways, beautiful, I want to check out The Rose again because I've heard a few songs, but they had a lot of issues with their trash company and stuff, um, and Osung has a very beautiful voice, um, and I'm really glad he collaborated with him. My favorite song was Snooze, People, Part 2, Polar Night Lyrically, I don't know if I could listen to that one a lot because it would just make me think too much. SDL would be perfect for the car. Amy Gidala, I don't know how to pronounce that, that's my favorite. Hall is probably my least favorite, which makes me a bit sad, but then again, even... Um... The song with Namjoon, Strange, I don't listen to that one that much either. I don't know, I... I don't know, I just... I don't know, <laughs> I can't talk, I'm not emotional. Hey, I don't know how to pronounce it, um... Beautiful, love it as well. And then D-Day was a great intro. Um, yeah, amazing. Loved it. Loved it very much. And I really wish I could go to his tour. I really, Because the one I would go to would be his first stop. And that would also make it very special. But alas, you can't. So, seeing TXT. <laughs> Me reluctantly, I'm seeing TXT. God, I'm just kidding. I, I'm really happy to see TXT. Because I've been wanting to. I really love Yungi advocating for other artists. I remember a lot of people thinking he's trashing other artists in older songs, but I never really saw it that way. Um, I feel like Yungi's always been an advocate for artists. I think people just misconstrued his words a lot in these some of these lyrics to then hate on other artists in K-pop, but in reality he's been the one trying really hard to support behind the scenes a lot of these younger artists, which I'm really glad he's finally saying that. Because I always kind of felt like he came off as if he's dissing younger artists and stuff, but it's never that. It's usually him going at usually older artists, actually, who do diss younger artists. So I, I'm glad these songs really display how much he really wants to, while they pave the way, it's more like he wants to make it better for other artists but then a lot of fans want to take them paving the way as them needing to be looked up to and always appreciated by other artists which they usually are but like it, it's like they want a lot of bad fans want artists to kind of succumb to bts a lot and like never like i don't know how to word it I feel like a lot of fans make it into a negative way when, like, oh, you should be grateful. You should be grateful for this because they did this and they had to go through this and now you you got it easy. But they don't have it easy. <laughs> they just don't have it as rough and usually we don't know if they do. And, like, Yoongi wants this. While it probably wasn't his intention, he's now using his advantage, I guess you could say, from going through all that. Like, his upper hand at this now moment in his life to make sure that young, young, young kids, like, 15 and even 20 and stuff like that, to not have to suffer. And I, I'm just really glad I stand such an amazing person. Um, yeah, this last song kind of hit me. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to checking out, this reminded me to check out The Rose again, because it's been so long. Um, <laughs> but... Who was your favorite song? Let me know. Um, ouch, sorry. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!